Good morning, good morning everyone from beautiful Jom Tien Beach here in Pattaya. We're gonna start off here at Soy Now. This, the Now Hotel is a good landmark. There's a coffee shop here called Ordinary Inside the Now. At any rate, let's get over here to the beach. Gonna give you guys some updates on what's going on over here. Not the best news for travelers. Do a little beach walk. And I'll show you where a good spot to get breakfast is over here. Pretty decent spot to get some brekkie. We got the uh, World Cup jet skis. Water jet season World Cup coming up. I don't think I'm gonna cover that, guys, because it's gonna be too many people out here. And with the current situation, they do weird stuff like with the testing to enter into the event area. So I'll probably be skipping that stuff. Anyway, guys, good morning. Jeffrey here with you, reporting from Jom Tien Beach here in Pattaya. And it's a lovely, lovely morning. Already heating up out here. So we'll do a nice little walk cast. Hasn't been good news for travelers. Been seeing a bunch of YouTube videos popping up where people are arriving and getting inconclusive tests, retesting, and then the test is coming back positive then they're being forced to quarantine in a hospital. Where if you look around and do your research when you're here, the options are supposed to be, or one of the options rather, is supposed to be that you can quarantine in your own hotel room. So people are not very happy about that. Across the way there, we got soy, Welcome, so welcome. <laughs> Very nice morning here at the beach. A lot of people canceling trips right now. <clears throat> I think that I will be okay over here. And if I do do some traveling in Thailand and need to take a test or anything like that, what I will do is just simply, is just simply do the test. Or no, I won't do the test. I'll just find another place to go. Sorry guys, I got distracted there for a minute. Got the soy dogs out. And on that topic of what just distracted me, here's the temple by the way. I used to go there and see the puppies. All of the puppies are gone. So I think that's a good sign. I'm thinking that means they all got homes. At least that's what we're hoping for. Back to what I was saying, I lost my train of thought. I have not seen a whole lot of stunners out here as far as the ladies go, fellas. The um, lockdowns have forced them into doing OnlyFans. So all these super hot fire girls, super hot like fire girls, have moved over to OnlyFans. So, <laughs> We're really entering into the metaverse era. I mean, says the guy who's making the walk and talk YouTube video. I'm damn near Google Maps walking and talking for you, right? I mean, this is kind of like a metaverse job. But anyway, I haven't seen any super, super hot ones here. Now, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of cute girls around to talk to. But I mean, super, super drop-dead gorgeous ones. 
I've only been seeing online and I actually hooked up with a girl who does OF a few weeks ago. She explained to me how it works. I'm gonna let you guys do your research, but um, we were talking about creating some stuff. Now I'm not, after uh, <laughs> some light consideration, I, I'm deciding to pass on that, on that deal. Could be fun, could be fun, because it puts you in a network of the uh, creators. But uh, I'm gonna pass, GP's gonna pass on that one. YouTube is doing pretty good, so we're just, we're gonna keep it all above water. But basically how they're doing it is these girls are not coming, they're not coming out, they're just staying in the house <laughs> and doing their OnlyFans stuff. And then probably when they do come out, they're probably wearing sweatpants and a baseball hat. They're not marketing themselves because they're making so much money doing the OnlyFans. And uh, as, far as, as far as dating, not exactly sure. I mean, I'm sure they're hooking up with somebody, but um, you know, the world is not the same. It's not, it's not, there's not as much mixing and mingling going on. That's what I'm getting at. There you go, my song towel. Let me know what you guys are seeing on your end, where you are at, just as far as dating in general. And also when things did start to open back up, I didn't see girls like throwing out, coming out, uh, super excited to see everyone. They kept it pretty conservative, in my opinion, anyways. Now I've been doing pretty good here on the beach. And again, since the opening, a lot of the girls have disappeared from the beach area here. They've all gone back over to Soy Bacal. So what I was doing before was just uh, doing these strolls like I'm doing right now. Usually later in the evening though, is when the uh, party scene would kind of open up. And just chat up a young lady and uh, take it from there. Usually after 7 p.m. I would say, at the earliest. I don't know. I'm also sober right now, so that probably slows things down quite a bit too. The reckless behavior has slowed down quite a bit. <laughs> that may have something to do with it too, GP. Oh. All right. Got our morning walkers out here getting their exercise in. <laughs> this guy's setting up for Selling his chairs for today. <laughs> and I am getting hungry. Breakfast is gonna be good this morning. <laughs> Chow doy across the way there. Looks like a uh, few people out. But beach is looking beautiful this morning. <clears throat> and
And as beautiful as this is, I cannot wait till travel starts opening up. And we can start hitting some new places. Because guys, I've said this in other vlogs, but I'm gonna keep reiterating, reiterating, I am not just a Thailand end all be all guy by any stretch. I want to travel the world, take you guys all around the world and have adventures. But I think this year, Thailand's a good place to keep building the channel. But um, yeah, guys, as you guys will see different content popping up, a matter of fact, I'm actually uploading a series or releasing a series of some episodes that I put together traveling a few years back. And those will all be coming out over the next few weeks here. Got footage from all around Thailand, Chiang Mai, Phuket, Bangkok, and then some different countries. So we have Philippines, Japan, Hawaii in America. Where else? Tai Taiwan. Cebu in the Philippines, which was a really, really cool place. If you guys like Thailand, you'll definitely like Cebu. So be on the lookout for that series. Fun stuff. There's a cool energy to it because it's like my first, kind of my first time really international traveling. So I have a certain excitement I think that comes through that's fun to watch. If you see the gate there where they have the chairs kind of blocked off so you can't get to the sea. That's for the uh, jet ski event. It's coming up here over the next couple days. I don't know, are you guys interested in seeing that? If you guys are like super interested in seeing it, then maybe I would, I'll cover it, but I just feel like it's gonna be a headache as far as dealing with, uh, like look, they already have check-in staff here. See, they already got the folks set up to do the testing and this is this thing is in like two or three days it's not even anytime soon so i'm thinking we'll skip that one find some other stuff to cover for you guys there's the jet skis though looking clean so the jet ski guys are in town already. Bleachers set up. Big old bleacher set up here. On the other side here, we've got Jam Tien Night Market. One of my favorite places to grab dinner. They got the 25 baht fruit smoothies in there. You cannot beat that. And more of this speedboat stuff. Guess they're expecting quite a bit of people to come out. Little speaker system set up. I don't know. Maybe it'll be interesting. To me, it seems like it'll be more of a headache than anything.
beautiful. It's coming from that little speaker. Some of those little speakers are so powerful. <laughs> right next door, we got this guy. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> catching my shadow a lot today. <laughs> Guess it's just the angle of the sun. Usually I don't get that in there. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Nice breeze out here. It's gonna be a hot day. I'm already breaking a sweat. I'm walking at a medium type speed, not too fast. You know, if I walk too fast, it looks funny on the camera for you guys. So I keep it at a medium pace. All the Thai girls have that feather tattoo on their chest. <laughs> so what I was saying about the OnlyFans thing, you find these girls on Instagram and that's where I've seen all the stennas. But um, yeah, they all promote themselves on Instagram. And so that's how you find their pages. I'm not recommending that you do that, just simply telling you what I'm seeing out here on these streets. So we're getting to the end of the beach here, police station, that Praia Road, definitely gonna be coming up and down. So I'm gonna do a series coming up and down all of these soys. This is that Praia, then it starts Jump Tien, one, two, three, etc. We're gonna go, I'll probably do them three at a time, something like that, but I'll do it in the evening so we can explore what's going on here in Jam Tien in depth. Now this is the breakfast spot here, Pirate Bay Cafe. Very, very awesome spot. I'm gonna dip in here, go for a little brekkie, and uh, I'll show you what I get. Okay, so Pirate Bay Cafe. I went with the old English brekkie. 195 baht and check it out guys toast bacon eggs little mushroom up there potato got the beans got the sausage tomato of course a little coffee man i'm gonna enjoy and look it's right on the beach right on the beach thank you for rocking with me guys i will talk to y'all later have a good one peace and love